One of the many areas where I think pe people should be pretty skeptical is in what you read about this. I mean, there's it's a very popular topic these days to uh, uh, discuss what uh, evolutionary uh, uh, psychology, as it's now called, sociobiology, used to be, uh, teaches us about the nature of humans. Uh, but the problem is it doesn't teach us anything much at all. Uh, the, uh, it's extremely, it's an extremely hard scientific problem to understand uh, the nature of any organism, say insects. Uh, we can do any experiment you like. When you get to something as complex as human beings, what you just find is uh, almost anything you look for. Uh, you want to find aggressiveness and violence and sadism, yeah, we can find that. Uh, we don't need evolutionary psychology to tell us about it. We see it in the world. Uh, you want to find uh, self-sacrifice, uh, courage, integrity, uh, a willingness to sacrifice yourself for some totally you know, remote species, like to wade out into the wintry uh, waters of Cape Cod and save dolphins. Uh, you can find that. Uh, you can find what, what you look for. Uh, humans have all of these capacities. Uh, different ones manifest themselves in different circumstances. And, uh, with different backgrounds and so on. But uh, the sciences just don't reach far enough to answer questions like this. It's a little, you know, it's worth looking at. Um, there's interesting work, say Robert Trivers's work on reciprocal al altruism, which is very interesting. Uh, how uh, a willingness to uh, have an altruistic relation to someone else uh, could pay off in uh, terms of uh, a selection survival. Yeah, it could. And that tells you maybe something interesting about the roots of this concept. It's not a new idea, incidentally. Uh, the first book on this topic, uh, called Mutual Aid, A Factor in Evolution, was written over a century ago by uh, Kropotkin, leading anarchist thinker, who was also a natural historian. And he tried to show, uh, this is I think maybe 1902 or something like that, that uh, 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 it, he didn't have a lot of evidence, but he tried to argue that in the natural world uh, and up to humans, uh, mutual aid, uh, a commitment to help others and help the community, would be, uh, could have survival value and could have been selected for. So maybe that's the kind of creature we are. And in some sense, yes, that's the kind of creature we are. We're also, unfortunately, any other kind of creature you like. Thank you.